afternoon everybody or it's afternoon for me I wanted to do a little quick video on some tree identification I'm out here actually picking up some hickory nuts and I thought it would be a good chance to show you some variation between species so what I'm looking for is a nut on the ground which I've <laughs> picked up a bunch of them here's some so these are these are hickory nuts they're pretty common actually. Right now I think we're having a bumper crop this year because that's pretty much all that's out. There's almost no acorns, like there's kind of a mashed acorn, but that's a white oak. Here's a white oak. But compared to normal, we don't really have too many acorns out. Which means, uh, yeah, so something's going on with them. I think it was last year there was a blight that hit the oaks and that affected their seed crop. But they'll be alright. There's some nuts that I've got, and I've got, you know, a bunch of them. Let's pull these out. So with this tree, here's what we're looking at. This is from a shagbark hickory. I have a book here. Uh, shagbark. So here's shagbark. There's the entry. You can pause that to read it if you want, or maybe I'll screenshot it for you. But shows you where it grows, tells you where it grows, and shows you some of the the bark characteristics and the nut characteristics, which I have right here. We just pull these little guys apart here. You'll see it's very, very similar. Maybe a little lighter. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a shag bark hickory. I can also show you the tree itself. So it has five leaflets, unlike, you know, a water hickory or, or what have you. It has five leaflets. Let me see if I can get a, a zoom on our tree up here. You gotta be careful. Don't count the leaves coming off. Anything that looks suspicious on the side of the tree here. This is actually poison ivy. This is a poison ivy vine. And if you're ever not sure, trace them back. So here's this, trace it back to the vine. And see these leaflets, or sorry, see these hairlets, these hairs that are binding that vine to the tree that is characteristic of poison ivy. Don't grab those. Alright, do you see this? Meh, finger, think, there it is. So you see this guy right here? My finger's about covering it up. It's a little difficult to tell because it's so dark against the sky, but that is a five leaflet branch. Kind of moving it around, maybe you can tell. This is on the same tree that I've been picking up off of, the shag bark, which you can also see as I zoom down, why it's called, zoom down, as I pan down, why it's called a shag bark. It's got this very, very characteristic shaggy wood, shaggy bark. It pulls off the tree and it kind of scoops outwards, it kind of gives the tree you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of shaggy appearance. That's why it's called that. So that's a shag bark hickory. Very good. Are probably the sweetest nut that we have besides the pecan, which uh, we don't have any pecans that I found. I actually was almost sure this one was a pecan, but so here we are looking at another shag bark on the bike trail. And here's a a much better example of the leaflets. If it focuses, I'm not sure if it is or not. See how f there's five of them? There's a nut that actually hasn't fallen yet. You guys see that bark? Here's your bark. It's got that very, very characteristic sort of, you know, shagginess to it. It bends out when it comes off. Alright, so I have my book here. Picked up a nut from that tree. As you can see, there's our, our shag bark. There's our bark. Here's our nut. This is the tree right there. You can see it's shaggy bark. You can see it's leaves. There's our nut. Here's our nut from the actual tree. It looks just the same, right? It's like that. But look at the shape difference. 
This is why you have to kind of positively identify the tree in many different ways. But there's one from this tree. Here's a nut from the other tree and you'll recognize the shapes. It's just the same. See if I open it up. Oops. Well. <laughs> Remember that one. But look at the difference in the shape. Isn't that neat? They're both the same species of tree. They've just grown in different areas and they have just a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of variation in the species. So the nuts actually taste about the same. This one tastes like, you know, you'd expect. This one's actually really sweet. I almost thought that it was a pecan, like I said before. And you can kind of look at the difference in the thicknesses of the shell as well. Let's get them in the right spot. That's, I just thought it was pretty cool. So this has been my video on the shagbark hickory identification. A little bit of extra fun on your species variants. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like. If you really like it, hit the subscribe, leave a comment. I absolutely love comments. I try to reply to every single one of them. And uh, if you have any suggestions for videos in the future, please let me know. I'm going to be hopefully going through and finding all of these other hickories. Maybe not the, the pecan, those aren't very common, but there's, there's several of them. There's another six or eight or some oaks there. Might do oaks too. It's getting a bit, a bit far in the year, but yeah, anyway. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.